Hey folks, I uh, here just with a quick uh, news update. Let me go ahead and get this information out to you all. Uh, prescription for monetary rehab: secrets of wartime spending. It's from the Ship Report. If you guys want to go ahead and check this out, very interesting information here. You know, just more and more showing about the tyranny of America. You guys want to look into that. Also, white supremacists clash with May Day protesters in front of White House. First off, I'm going to show you guys this video just because of how stupid it is. Tell me what you guys think. Alright, now see these? They're calling these guys not to look. Don't tread on me. 13 pounds star colony flag. The Confederate flag. Look, they're calling them Nazis. They're there for gun rights. Sorry, you're Jose Nazi scum, you're an uneducated douchebag. They're not racist, they're fighting for gun rights. See what these Nazis are holding back there? Socialism is the answer? Really? That's what happens when you mess with the Constitution, you socialist bastards. So tell me, what do you guys think about that? You see those hippies holding up socialism as the answer? <laughs> They're trying to sell our country down the river? I'm going to tell you what my honest opinion was. These are good, honest, hardworking Americans sitting there holding, yes, the Confederate, Confederate state flag, which for some reason uneducated children think means slavery. When in all honesty, it means no, separation from the United States during the Civil War. It was a movement for freedom. You know, they, they seceded from the U.S. government. And then they were holding a 13-star colony flag, which is what? Talks about the rights of America because that's what we were founded on. 1776. For freedom. And then they had a Don't Tread on Me flag, which stands for what? The Militia, NRA, the National Rifle Association. They were there protesting their right to bear arms. 
and a whole bunch of freaking actual real neo-Nazis who are the ones starting the problems calling the other ones Nazis. So what happened? One of these little neo-Nazi socialist bastards got hit so hard in the face knocked his ass out. Excuse my French. I'm sorry, hippies. You don't want to mess with those southern boys. They got guns. You've got cabbage. You want to talk smack. You need to wake up because this is the United States of America and everybody has the right to protest. Don't jump to conclusions because of what your damn government school books teach you is right and wrong. You know, if, if you're that intelligent, then you would understand what U.S. history is and how it coincides with current events. You know, I'm sorry, but that just made me very angry. And I can't believe RT said white supremacists clash with May Day protesters. They're not white supremacists. So everybody that wants to fight for the right to bear arms is a white supremacist? This country is trying to rip us apart from the inside out. They're trying to turn ourselves against... They're trying to turn us against ourselves. They're trying to form two groups. They're holding up socialism as the answer signs? Man, they really want to be protected while there's drones flying around, don't they? Oh, I guess socialism is the answer. What was Hitler's regime? It's time to wake the freak up, you stupid idiots. Anyway, history on the Chechen resistance. Cospin report. Storm clouds got gathering. Very interesting information about the uh, brothers. And the look at their history and all kinds of stuff. They weren't no daggone terrorist. You know, there was an article out earlier today about the FBI giving out secret money to countries around the world. Hmm, I wonder why. Al Qaeda? Anyway, also, Seattle May Day protest turns violent. Also on RT. Welcome to the new world, folks. This is what happens when you don't know God. Without God, there's no peace. That kind of looks like the Boston bomb, doesn't it? But it's a snow grenade. Oh, another Boston bomb, but it's a snow grenade. That one's just like a two day. No offense, but it's because of people like this guy climbing up on this light post. He doesn't know God. And then all these other people lying around here. Causing problems is the reason why we can't protest. They want socialism. Man, we have a battle on our hands, folks. Trying to spread the word of God is really, really hard. And all these poor lost souls. Wish I can save them all, but we can't. Message from Anonymous. New World Order. Your game is not logic. Game over. You should have expected us. This is from MM, MM a Wild Or A Wild. You guys want to check it out. Anonymous video saying pretty much it's over with. And then now here you go. More. This is in Canada. Montreal.
literally links to this, but do you see? The world's gonna fall apart. Yes, it was the May Day Festival. But guess what? It's still continuing today, and they're not really covering it. Because before I left D.C. today, there's still people out in the streets. So, it's happening, folks. Um, the Occupy movement is on. The stabilization of the nations are on. So maybe you guys are right. Maybe that UFO I seen is a drone. Really hope not, because you guys are scaring me with that. I don't want to get freaking shot up or bombed because of my videos. But anyway, outbreak. Another different SARS virus. More deadly than the Chinese one. This is in Saudi Arabia. So it's more deadly than H7N9. There was a video actually back in October of this guy saying that they're lying to us and the SARS, outbreak, SARS virus was, was let loose around northeastern Africa. I'm going to go ahead and check into that still, but that's crazy. Also, Pastor Paul Bagley, North Carolina measles outbreak. The Har Kashana Plague. Sorry if I'm not pronouncing that right. More plague news, plus the H7N9s out there. A lot of stuff going on, man. It really is. Also, Realist News, WebBot Update Part 2, because I didn't put it on the other video, so there you guys go. Have that there. Also, Sinkhole Update May 2nd, 2013. Um, I think uh, BP Earthwatch might have a, something on this, too. Somebody does. But, um, talking about the minor quakes that are being protected underneath the, uh, you know, the salt caverns in the sinkhole itself. You know, and uh, it's starting to worry people that it might erupt at any moment. So if you guys want to go ahead and look into that article, very interesting there. I've been keeping an eye on that because I have a bad feeling about that, that about that sinkhole. Also, this is from the old Marine One. Will it blast Earth? Talking about Comet Ison. You know, the odds are against us. And also about a solar flare, I mean. It's about talking about the solar flare. Sorry, I'm thinking of a different video. You know, honestly, we're going to get hit with solar flare. Right now, where the Earth's at, once it comes around this bin where it's most active, right over here, where Nibiru's at, way out, that's disturbing our sun, our planet, and all kinds of different things, which is where Ison's coming from. You'll notice a little bit of a difference around May 11th through the 13th is when I'm predict predicting a major quake. Um, the Black Star updates, uh, predicting it on April the 17th. He forgot to calculate in the distance, how fast it's traveling, all that good nonsense when he put the first update on. It's going to happen, so just be prepared for it. And also, on to this. North Korea could reach U.S. with nuclear arms, Pentagon says. This is from Reuters. North Korea's continuing development of nuclear technology and long-range ballistic missiles will move it closer to its stated goal of being able to hit the United States with an atomic weapon, a new Pentagon report to Congress said on Tuesday. Hmm. Really? The report, the first version of the annual Pentagon assessment required by law, says Ping Dong Yang, T. Po Dong, Two missile will continue development, might ultimately be able to reach parts of the United States carrying a nuclear payload if configured as an intercontinental ballistic missile. North Korea launched a multi-stage rocket that delivered a satellite into orbit in December, an advance that contributes heavily to the country's development of long-range ballistic missile capability, the report said. Of course, we've all already known that. You guys are idiots anyway. You're lying to us. We already know North Korea has that technology. China gave it to them. Come on. But anyway, if you guys want to go ahead and read in this, there you go. Like always, from Odd, much love to you all. God bless you and yours, and I will see you guys tomorrow evening. God bless.